All right, Ian, we have to talk about uh, the Atari VCS. We have to watch it on the uh, obscenely expensive. Is it delayed? <laughs> we have to watch. Oh, oh we have to do our oh, ooh, our thumbnail. We, yeah. we have to watch it on the obscenely expensive uh, CU Podcast Tron eight thousand here. The CU Tron. The C the CU Tron eight thousand. The cut round. So we're gonna have to do this just because this is a uh, this is not this is fu- uh, an appearance on by the CEO on the Fox Business. Let's move our mics so we can talk into them, and I'll, I'll pause this every now and then here, um, and I'll play it. And uh, sorry, sorry, Kieran, meant to be hard to rip rip the video out of here uh, to watch this. And let's put the volume up here. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stop this every now and then to talk about this appearance. It's an interesting appearance, for sure on Fox Business here. Look, can I first talk about this? Atari th- introduces throwback console with classic games. Joystick upgrade. <laughs> it's a weird thing to mention. Talk about Atari, okay? I remember this very, very well. Way back in the 70s and 80s, I was playing a game called Pong, okay? So the guy's about 65 years old, so you would have been early 20s. <laughs> but I loved it, and I played it back then. Well, Atari has a new console out, and what they're doing well, okay. is that first of all, it's not out yet. With some yeah. of those old games, that- it's not out yet. First of all, this is a this is going to be a promo interview for a console that's supposed to come out later this year by the end of the year. And that looks like a. Uh, is that supposed to just be a really clean, like actual Atari? Because that yeah, that's yes. probably one that 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 uh, was in, in by our, our pal. Uh, that you Evan can still play Pytuck. them today. So we have with us today Fred Chenet. He is the CEO of Atari, I think. That's the title? Yes, good the, morning. The name is right, Fred the Chenet? Right, yes. And this is the console? So this is the, the first prototype of the console. And wait, wait a second, be... wait a second. If I buy one of these... Okay, is it the first prototype of the one they, 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 they cancelled, or is it the first new prototype? Yeah. I think that's the original one, with all the individual pieces, because they probably couldn't have tooled the new one already, right, and gotten a prototype together I guess. in a couple months. Things. I can play Pong Fred? again? Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. No problem. How much? <laughs> so we'll see. But, you know, it's a um, first and foremost, you know, we have, we're still making games. I know. Uh, You've got to tell me that you do more than just yeah, rack just, up the old games. So Go and tell me. We're doing games, uh, of course, for mobile, online. So we are uh, relaunching the old uh, classic games. Mm. So that's still, you know, the DNA of the company. Uh, but uh, we're very proud to announce So next week we'll be releasing end of the year and early next year would be releasing this new console. So what is it exactly? First, we, you know, to pay homage to the, uh, to the history. A lot know, of talking without nice saying anything. Wooden design. <laughs> and it's, uh, you know, that's our way to say thank you. The wooden uh, design. <laughs> it's not wooden. There's yeah. a little bit of wood grain face pl- plate on it. It's not made of wood. Or if it's some uh, sort of mock-up or prototype, maybe it's actually a hunk of of what? wood that they that they just had a carpenter put together, <laughs> but it's not going to again be that way. That could be the, the original prototype that they use in the video. That that's not how it's going to be finalized because they're doing the one piece tooling. They're not doing the individual rib section anymore on it. So they, he said first prototype. He said first. I wonder if he meant original. If that's the case. That's not how it's going to look. If that's what it but is, it's going to look similar. But that's not the prototype, though. It's you, I mean, I'm buying it for Pong. Exactly. He's buying it for Pong. This old, I like this old British guy. Yeah. We'll call him Jim. It's not just the old games. It's all of the new games. And you can stream them, I think. Yes, right? exactly. And it's a computer to boot, right? It's so whole- you're going to stream the games? <laughs> <laughs> and you're, it's a computer to boot. Well, you're going to play the games, but it is a computer, technically. So, so British Jim, I'll call him, uh, is right about that. I don't know his name. Computer to boot. So you have two modes, basically. First, it's a gaming and video console for the living room. Uh, the first uh, use of it is you have what we call the Atari mode, which is based on Linux, and here you, you will be able to access classic games, new games, and much more. Music, okay. uh, uh, movies, and it basically every computer mode. application for the home. So it's really like uh, first a console. The front end mode. And on top yeah. of that, and this is what is also new and different from the other consoles, uh, you will be able, in what we call a sandbox mode, where you will be able to download a new or any operating system if you want to download uh, Microsoft, if you want to download uh, an Android system, we will allow that. And because with that sandbox because mode, we won't have do- anything of our own. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not something that I'd say you want to come out and market saying that there's going to be a sandbox mode. That almost says like you don't have confidence in right. what else you're offering on like your own environment, your own ecosystem that was of gaming. my immediate takeaway there is you can do this because we're not going to have anything or else. we know we're designing enough interest in our 
ecosystem or Atari VCS ecosystem in store so you can buy it to fuck around with your own computer that looks like this product. Right? That's basically what he's saying. You can buy this and make your own retro pie you with can it make if you your don't own, like what we have. You can make your own computer that you just like the cool look of that fits in your living room. Right? That's basically what he's saying. Yeah, that's Dude, that's what I'm getting. That's what gathering. you want. Uh, of course, uh, this is well, well, we think that this is new. This is really um, mainstream, and we are very happy mainstream? to be uh, showing it to the price behind closed doors next week. Uh, and uh, so, it will be end of the... So, so last year, they, they show it behind closed doors. That was the original... That was the block of wood with, with the well, one... Well, not a block of wood, but that's when the British author had no, that that one article. was... It was a... It was wood. The, the actual unit was, yeah, was supposedly, like, wooden. Is that when we got that cheeky article from that British yes. guy a year ago? <laughs> that was so good. Gotta buy him some fish and chips, not a sandwich. That was good. But you still have the exclusivity. Yeah. And, uh, if I get one, <laughs> yes. can I play Space Invaders? So, look, I fucking love this. I, I, I love British Jim. This is why. <laughs> because British Jim was a kid back in 1974, <laughs> 75, right? Now he's like 65. So Pong, Space Invaders, that's what he played in the pubs. In the that's pub. what was there. <laughs> and that's all he gives a shit about. Yep. He doesn't care about what Atari did, even in the 80s, it sounds like. Nope. Just the 70s, late 70s, maybe 80, 81. Yeah. <laughs> Before he went off to uh, to uh, to grad school or got his journalism degree. Or when he finance. was courting the love of his life. When he was at Oxford. I love British Jim. That's not his name. I'm sorry. His name's not here. Says it through a steaming. Uh, uh, okay. Can I play Pac-Man? Ah! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I love it because <laughs> all day what British Jim talks about is like oil future prices and this is the one time he's, he's so happy. He's like 17 years old again. He's so can I play Batman? <laughs> Let me put this back a little bit. Okay. Because this is this is important that he brought up Pac-Man because the response is important too, as you'll see here. Whoop. Okay. Can I play Pac-Man? Uh, yeah, Pac-Man is not Atari. Yes, so could, everyone yeah. thinks it's Atari. Atari. I, could, I could play it. Yeah, you would be able to have it through the, uh, through the sandbox mode, yeah. So sandbox mode, meaning you have to emulate it. It's not going to be included. I'm bringing up Pong and <laughs> yeah. Space Invaders and Pac-Man. This is video game culture, right? You know, yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, Love this guy. Which knowledge. demographic are you going after? I mean, would you really go after retired people like myself, you know, seniors like myself, on the grounds that you can play Pong and Space Invaders and Pac-Man? Well, I think we're going, you know, to... Uh, with a very, very broad audience, uh, everyone would basically need some That's a great question by British Jim, because to him, he's in that demographic of those old games where he played them growing up, so he right. might uh, have some, some interest in it. People our age and younger don't have any interest in paying $300 for a console just so that you can play Pong or Space Invaders or, or whatever Jim was playing in the pub back in 1979. So w watch his response here. Because he, this is where you kind of know that what am I? What are we marketing here? And you can see it in his eyes here, as I as I played here. Ooh, uh, his name is Stuart Varney. Stuart, and uh, on October 29th, twenty fourteen, uh, he was served with a divorce request, a nine year adulterous affair. You know, I don't need to bring that up about <laughs> my buddy Stuart now. I'm sorry, I don't need to bring that up, Ian. That's, that's that, personal. That's one of the few things that okay. Wikipedia says about him. How old is he? He's got to be 65, uh, 66. How old are you, Stu? Let's do some Pat math. He's 70. He? He's 70? Oh, okay. 70. Okay. Something in the living room to, to do what living he's room. explained. Again, be, living room. Again, living room. to look sure. into what we're offering. Uh, the, the fact that we have two modes. Hey, a first... Uh, mode where you can have many, a lot of applications uh, and then your sandbox mode where you can do what you want. You kill him if- This is a- this- uh, he's, Oh, Stuart's not- Stuart is getting good. <laughs> Stuart's not in there. This is a shotgun marketing approach, which almost never works with anything, by the way. We're gonna sell you this console that has all these Atari games that- that Stuart remembers playing when he was a kid. 60 and 7 year olds would want to play them potentially, again, if they hadn't figured out a way to play them the past 20 years again. Um, or we got the sandbox mode that n almost no one's going to buy this for. No one's going to buy this to, to fuck around with it in this little little cool shape. Almost you can no play Pac-Man through sandbox mode. That means you can't get it on here. Stuart, Stuart I'm sorry, Jim. Stuart. I'm sorry you got divorced, Stuart. You can do what you want. You're killing me, Fred. You're killing me. Can, could I just plug it in? And, 
<laughs> he doesn't. Stuart doesn't care about sandbox. No. Kinds of passwords for this. Oh, you will need a password, of course, but only one. You will need a password <laughs> because it's your machine. But it's I want my grandchildren to hook this thing up. I think you know, if I were you, I would definitely try it because it's always good to bond with the with the kids and yeah. with the grandkids. So yes, it, just for that, yes, that's what I would. Seven do. year olds aren't buying this. That's the beauty of video games. The and complexity is a feature, is not a bug. <laughs> then to play a lot to bond with the kids <laughs> and the grandkids. Do you think I could bond with my four-year-old <laughs> twin granddaughters playing Pong? Definitely, yes. If no! <laughs> for, private, okay. We'll have a private session. <laughs> oh, they'll like it for like five, ten minutes, but they'll, they'll go back to whatever Candy Crush games on their phone. I mean, I'm sure a kid a kid will like playing Pong for a little bit, right? I, if I was four years old, I'd play Pong, you know. But nowadays, kids have so much more software at their disposal than we did when we were four. When I was four... The, the idea of the all-in-one Pong clones was still fairly... It was still out in the marketplace area, and it was dead by that point, by the early 80s. So we had one. We had the Telstar Ranger. But nowadays, it's going to be so quaint that, yeah, you'll get a little bit of fun out of it, but they're not going to, you know, they're not going to glom onto it. Use that word glom Ooh, again. Man, Varney's not... Don't, 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 don't destroy my view of Varney, uh, of Stewart to me. He's pure in my eyes. What, 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 what did he do now? Did he get arrested for something bad? In an interview on 5 June 2013, Varney said, We hand down $79 billion every January on these so-called poor people. And then someone says, You're not being mean to poor people? And he responded, I am. I am being mean to poor people. Okay. Frankly, I am. So Stuart doesn't like welfare, apparently. <laughs> Stuart's Come awful. on, Stuart. Come on, Stu. Let me, let me back this up a bit. You can bond with your granddaughters by doing some charity work, you asshole. <laughs> if I buy one, will you supply a technician to come to my house <laughs> and <laughs> install it? Outline 24-7. No problem. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Whatever you say. Software. Yeah, he's not going to tell us. Uh, you no, tell no, us? we can. You can. Oh, Look, no. we're going to have different systems, uh, but the entry point will be 249. And then uh, we have also... Plus 200. Uh, and, We've also rebooted and redesigned the old classic joystick, so that will be announced oh. later this year. But there's a new joystick. They didn't reboot it. It's off the machine. shelf, it looks like. And, uh, <laughs> that's, that's the yeah. entry point. And Just then, the with the, And then you can add more memory. We will have, you know, more it, price here okay. options. Well, right. Is that a sample disaster. which you're leaving here? Or do, you're oh, you're not Stuart. leaving the sample. I'm you're not giving me that sample? No, <laughs> I don't blame you, folks. Stuart I don't wants a freebie. Uh, Fred Chenet, look, thank you very much for it's bearing with me in about Pong and Space Invaders. I do think that's very exciting because you're bringing you a whole bunch of stuff together oh, for the living right. yes thanks for having me okay Stuart. Stuart, Stuart. it's not it's not exciting see Stuart is someone that hasn't played a video game in 40 years see, apparently Stuart he doesn't know the market people. he said you're bringing the other pongs but this has been brought together a, a, a dozens of times in the past by various all-in-one consoles and mini consoles and collections you know what i mean like this is Stu, not Stu wasn't impressed uh he wasn't impressed in general and the little bit he was impressed by was Pong was just something he didn't realize had already occurred a billion times before. And, and this is why I think uh, Stu, ha Stu, we saw the humanity of Stu going back to 1975 playing Pong in the pub. Maybe if Stu played that old up Pong, he wouldn't be so down on like welfare and, and, you know, things of that nature. I mean, it's probably like an old conservative sort of British bloke that, you know, um, that, see, 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 video games, it warms your heart and it, it makes you more open to people and nice and, and, and you melt. Yeah. I mean, if he had played more than his favorite video game would probably not be, I am. I am being mean to poor people. <laughs> Frankly, <laughs> I, I am. He might have been being cheeky. His maybe. other favorite game is, cheeky, his yeah. other favorite game is Nine Year Adulterous Affair. And, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. Stu is my guy because he was asking the proper questions there. He he was trying to say like, "What's the market for this?" And Fred couldn't give him a response. Oh, Fred! Uh, all Fred was, didn't say anything. All, all, he, all Fred said was, "Well, we have two different things. We had the sandbox, which now they're they didn't really push the sandbox thing before. Well, no, because now now they have so they've so they've realized that they're fucked on their own front end and anything they really thought they were going to do, they're going to include it. But now now it's a tinker now toy. They're, now they're Pitching it as something else, they're, which is exactly they're, what they're doing. There was called pivoting. This is they're not pivoting. This it, we're still. <laughs> when is this thing supposed to come out? They said December. They said maybe the beginning of next year. They don't have any. They still have no clue what they're doing with this. So sandbox mode means they're going to throw Linux on it or whatever and let you just and install you can put, whatever. Yeah, you, want, you can right. install whatever you want on there. You install Microsoft and, and Windows. That's going to be as evidenced by this. That's going to be the new selling point. As they no longer have anything to say about what they originally promised, they're just going to pivot to new selling points. 
two forty nine is the starting price, and that's for like I guess the, the Onyx black version, not even the one that people are going to buy, which is the fake wood grain or wood grain front faceplate one. You know, that was good. Stewart did a good job without realizing it. Because Stewart, Stewart did. I mean, uh, without I'll, realizing it, because I'll, I'll he, give Stu credit for this. He's a good journalist. He may not like this, it, this, how he, this, his marriage is, but 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 what what that showed is that that. He was at, he was trying to get around for like what who are you selling this product to what's the market and what's it and, actually going to offer me out of the box and the games that I want to play will like my grandkids want to play them with me you know like in theory he's the market for those forty year old games they're now forty year old games Atari VCS era and Pong are forty plus year old games I know it's sad to say they're forty fucking plus years old yep so. He's trying to think, is this for me? Is it for my grandkids? And he didn't want to hear about the fucking sandbox Linux shit. Stuart doesn't know what Linux is. He doesn't care. Stuart just remembers playing Pong in a pub with a paddle or playing Space Invaders. Stuart, That's all Stuart, Stuart remembers. knows Linux is the operating system for poor people. Is that- <laughs> he was being cheeky, Ian. The British Army, he was being cheeky about that. He didn't mean it. I'm going to stand up for my buddy Stuart here. All right. Stand up my buddy Stuart. Weird hill to die on. <laughs> I'll buy a- <laughs> but anyway, that was enlightening, though, yeah. because you can almost he wasn't Fred wasn't Fred the CEO wasn't deer in headlights look, but and yeah, he's I'm, a step I'm, away from that where it's like, yeah, we don't know what our marketing message kind of is. Yeah, you could tell because he opened his mouth and fucking nothing came out. Just words, just words came out. Nothing of any substance or meaning. The only new thing is sandbox. Man. All right, uh, I'm a fan of Stewart's now just because of that. He was being cheeky. <laughs> All right.